Hello, it's me, the ukulele teacher, here to teach you how to play Everybody Wants to Rule the World by Tears for Fears. So, grab your uke. Make sure it's in tune, and when it is in tune, it should sound like this. Before we go any further, I just want to say a big thank you to Ortega Guitars for sponsoring this video and sending me this ukulele to use. If you want to find out more about this ukulele, then check out the link in the video description. Okay, first things first, I'm going to go ahead and play you through a quick snippet of the song to give you guys a rough idea of how it should sound when you've learned it. While I'm doing that, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more lessons like this one, and leave me a comment right now letting me know what song you guys want to learn next. The song sheet for this lesson and every single lesson that I've ever done is available right now from patreon.com slash uteacher. Check it out right now and you can sign up for as little as $1 a month, and you get every single video at least 24 hours before the rest of the world, plus a PDF song sheet, and loads of other cool and exclusive perks, goodies, and rewards. One, two, three, four. These are the chords that you'll need for the song. If you already know them, then skip ahead now. To play the chord of D major seven, bar the second fret with your first finger. That means you push down on all four strings at the same time. Then add your third finger to the fourth fret of the first string. And the chord of D major seven should sound like this. If you find bar chords a bit difficult to play, then check out my video, How to Play Bar Chords First. It'll give you a couple of extra handy hints and tips to make them a little bit easier for you. Then when you're done watching that, come back and finish this video. I'll be right here waiting for you. To play the chord of G6, put your first finger on the second fret of the third string, and your second finger on the second fret of the first string. And the chord of G6 should sound like this. To play the chord of E minor, put your first finger on the second fret of the first string, your second finger on the third fret of the second string, and your third finger on the fourth fret of the third string and the chord of E minor should sound like this. To play the chord of F sharp minor, put your first finger on the first fret of the third string, your second finger on the second fret of the fourth string, and your third finger on the second fret of the second string, and the chord of F sharp minor should sound like this. To play the chord of G, go back to that G6 shape, but add your third finger to the third fret of the second string, and the chord of G should sound like this. To play the chord of A, go back to that F sharp minor shape, but lift up your third finger. And the chord of A should sound like this. And to play the chord of D, put your first, second, and third fingers on the second fret of the fourth, third, and second strings. And the chord of D should sound like this. The first thing we're going to do is learn how to play the intro. It sounds really cool. but it's actually surprisingly easy to play. Firstly, with our left hand, we need to put our first finger on the fifth fret of the first string. And with our second finger, we need to put it on the seventh fret of the second string. Then we need to put our first finger underneath the second string and our second finger underneath the first string, like this. Now, believe it or not, with our right hand, all we're doing is playing first string, second string over and over again. If I take my left hand off, all we're playing is this. So how do we get that cool effect? All we do is play 2nd string, 1st string, 2nd string. Then we add our 3rd finger to the 7th fret of the 1st string. And then we play it again and again, like this. So basically we're playing 1st string, 2nd string over and over again. And every 3rd time round, we add our 3rd finger 
to the seventh fret of the first string, like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then once you can play that, just play it a little bit faster and try and get a sort of swingy beat to it, and it should sound like this. Then we move straight into the rest of the intro, which is chords. And indeed, the chords for the intro are the same as the chords for the verse. Just D major 7 to G6, played through four times, like this. All I do is play one downstroke on the D major 7, followed by one scrape, or one chuck, like this. To chuck the ukulele, all you have to do is, as you strum, just flatten your palm on the strings. So instead of getting a nice tone like you normally would when you strum, you get a sort of slapping or scraping noise like this. Because as soon as you strum, your palm, or your hand, is muting the strings. So it's one downstroke followed by one chuck on the D major 7. And then on the G6, we play up, up, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, up, chuck, like this. Down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, up, chuck, down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, up, chuck, down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, up, chuck. And when you can play that through four times, you've got the rest of the intro and all of your verses, like this. And that takes you straight into your chorus. Then the chords for the first line of the chorus are E minor to F sharp minor to G to F sharp minor. And here the pattern that we play on each chord is down, chuck, up, up, chuck, once on each chord, like this. Down, chuck, up, up, chuck, down, chuck. And in the second line of the chorus, the chords are E minor to F sharp minor to G to A. And here we carry on playing the down, chuck, up, up, chuck pattern. But this time we split the pattern across two chords. So we play down, chuck, up, up, chuck, down, chuck, up, up, chuck, before going back into the verse again. So let's put that together and play through the chorus. We will find you acting on your best behavior. Turn your back on Mother Nature. Everybody wants to rule the world. So let's go ahead and play through verse one and the chorus all together. Nice and slow from the top. One, two, three, four. Welcome to your life. There's no turning back. Even while we sleep, we will find you acting on your best behavior. Turn your back on Mother Nature. Everybody. Verse 2 has exactly the same chords as verse 1, so let's just carry on and play through verse 2. It's my own design, it's my own remorse, help me to decide. And then after verse 2 we play the chorus again, and the second chorus has the same chords as the first chorus, however the words are completely different, so let's just carry on and play through chorus 2. Help me make the most of freedom and of pleasure. Nothing ever lasts forever. Everybody wants to rule the world. And at the 
end of chorus two, you play a G because that takes you into the bridge. We've got three lines of G to D to A. The strumming part that I play is down, chuck, up, up, chuck. I play it through once on the G and then split it across the D and the A like this. Down, chuck, up, up, chuck. 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 So let's put that all together and play through the bridge and the next chorus. There's a room where the light won't find you. Hold Then after repeating the intro, you play one more chorus, one more bridge, and then you repeat the intro again and again to end the song. Put that all together and that's how to play Everybody Wants to Rule the World by Tears for Fears. I've been the ukulele teacher. If you have any requests for future lessons, then let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, until next time, I love you all and I wish you the best.